What's up everybody, Taylor with KC here and we are back today and we are tackling a common misconception that we often hear a lot about. Now the more lumens a light has, the better the light's gotta be, right? Well, not necessarily, but we're gonna cover that in this video today. Now we're also gonna be talking about some other terms such as lux and candela that are also used to quantify the output of a light. Now all this information combined is number one, gonna give you a really good understanding of what these terms mean when you come across them. And then number two, it's gonna help you analyze the performance of a light when it comes time for you to buy an off-road light. So let's just go ahead and dive right into some of the definitions of these different terms used to quantify and measure the output of light. So let's start off by answering the question, is the light with the most lumens actually going to be the brightest and the best performing light? In short, the answer is not necessarily, and you're gonna have to use a combination of all the terms that we talk about today in order to figure out which light's gonna be best for your needs. So then, what is a lumen and how come we're always hearing about it? Now, a lumen is a base metric that describes the total light output that an LED chip can produce, and this number is often given to us by the manufacturer of the LED chip itself, uh, such as Cree, Philips, Osram, any of those companies. Now, one really big thing to remember here is that the lumen rating is simply a measurement of raw potential of the light. It doesn't account for anything else that went into the design and the engineering of the light, such as the geometry and the size of the reflector and the clarity of the lens and a couple of other things. So let's think about this then in terms of vehicles. A really good comparison here would be the horsepower of an engine. Now on one hand, you have two vehicles that have the exact same horsepower rating. But let's say you have a Jeep that weighs as much as a tank and you know who you are, that vehicle's not necessarily going to be as fast as a Toyota Corolla that has the same horsepower rating, rating just because they are different weights. Now very similarly, you take two lights that have the same lumen rating, but they differ in terms of electrical efficiency, in terms of clarity of their lens, in difference in terms of the size and the geometry of the reflector, and etc. Those lights are gonna have different outputs as well. Another really great term to understand for off-road lighting is LUX, L-U-X. While lumens refers to the total amount of light and is more of a measurement of raw potential, LUX is on the totally opposite end of the spectrum and refers to the real world amount of light on a surface from a specified distance away. Now typically, LUX is measured from 10 meters away within one square meter on a wall. So it's super simple. All we do is you take a light and then you shine it on a wall, make sure there's 10 meters of distance in between that, and then you measure the light output within one square meter on that wall. So some of you may already be asking yourself, well, doesn't beam pattern affect that then? And then the answer would be yes. Let's take a spot beam for example. A spot beam light has a very concentrated hot spot that's very bright because it's meant to throw light out super far down range. That number is gonna be a lot higher of a lux value than something like a spread beam light might have. A spread beam light is gonna have a lower lux value, not because it's any worse of a light, but simply because it's designed to spread light out over a much wider area. So lux is a really good measurement of light because it's a real world measurement and it's something that accounts for all of the research, design and engineering and everything else that went into making that light itself. Finally, we have candela. Candela is the total amount of light within a certain beam angle and direction. Candela really helps us to measure the strength, volume, and the intensity of a light. While lumens refers to the total amount of light produced by a light source, and lux refers to how much that light is landing on a surface, candela refers to the intensity of that light in a certain direction. Now the big difference between lumens and candela is that lumens refers to the total visible light output, whereas candela refers to the output or the intensity of that light in a certain direction. Now a really fun fact about candela is that it also used to be known as candle power, both of which are of reference to the times when the primary source of illuminations were candles. Now a really good comparison for you to know is that a single wax candle 
actually has a very apt candela rating of one. So overall, it's really useful to understand all three of these terms that help us quantify the total output of light. Now, when it comes time for you to determine which off-road light you should buy and which off-road light is gonna perform best for your function, looking at the ratings for lumens, lux, and candela for a light will all help steer you in the right direction. Now, if you enjoyed this video from us, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, leave some comments below about what other types of videos you'd like to see from us in the future. While you're at it, please be sure to check out these other videos from us. Thank you all so much for watching.